Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the Cabinet meeting today at Ghadaybiya Palace. His Royal Highness hailed the efforts and initiatives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to enhance peaceful coexistence and interfaith dialogue. Commending the launching of the King Hamad Chair in Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence as one of the initiatives that reflects the royal keenness on providing a scientific platform that promotes the noble goals on which this royal initiative was based among the youth. The Cabinet welcomed the participants, exhibitors and visitors to Bahrain International Air Show 2018, affirming the importance of the exhibition in bolstering international cooperation in the aviation field. It also noted the role of the exhibition in reflecting the progress that the Kingdom achieved in organizing grand world exhibitions. The Cabinet also noted the role of private universities' educational institutions in supporting the march of the university education in the country, praising its contributions to preparing qualified caterers on the occasion of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's patronage of Al Ahliya University and AMA International University graduation ceremonies and congratulated the graduates. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister followed up on the repercussions of the unstable weather and the measures taken by ministries and concerned government authorities through the National Disaster Management Committee and the efforts of the Ministry of Interior in addressing the alerts it received on this regard and then taking the required measures to provide aid to citizens and residents. His Royal Highness directed to identify the schools that require urgent maintenance and to give them priority in the government building maintenance program. He also directed to take measures on whether to close schools when heavy rains occur at dawn or during or after the school day. The Cabinet approved the channeling of funds paid for violations of the labor law in the private sector to finance expenses related to the awareness of workers and employers and to contribute to funding the establishment of employment workshops and exhibitions for job seekers. It also approved a resolution on determining the funds paid for labor law violations in the private sector. The Cabinet approved a resolution amending the provisions of the regulation list on the fees imposed by the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority on licenses and other services, including the postponement of activating frequency licensing until January 1, 2019, and cancelling the prepayment condition when submitting applications listed on the regulations list. The Council also approved adopting the General Policy of Space and the Strategic Plan of the National Space Science Agency 2019-2023. The Cabinet approved a Memorandum of Understanding on exploring and using outer space for peaceful purposes between Bahrain and India. The attendees also discussed signing an establishment and main system agreement of the Gulf Payments Company. The Cabinet discussed a draft law preparing in light, uh, prepared in light of the Representative Council's proposal amending labor law in the private sector, adding a new paragraph to Article 32. 
The council referred the three draft laws to the Representatives Council, the first amending Article 4 of the Law 19 of 2006 on regulating labor market, the second amending Article 36 of Law 19 of 2006 on regulating the labor market, and the third amending or amendment a number of provisions of 57 of the year 2006 on establishing a labor fund. The Minister of Health briefed the Cabinet on the preparations to hold a Gulf Conference for Health Insurance, which will be held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister next week. His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated yesterday in the presence of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Honorary President of the Bahrain Martial Arts Federation and Head of the Supreme Organizing Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the President of the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation, IMMAF, Kenneth Brown, the World Championships for Amateur Mixed Martial Arts, MMA, which is considered the largest work or the largest sports festival, Brave Combat Week, held in the kingdom under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Nasser, organized by the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, in cooperation with the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation and the Brave Combat Federation. The 5th edition of the World Amateur Championship and the 18th edition of the Brave Fighting Championship is being held from November 11th until the 18th at Khalifa Sports City. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that Bahrain has become a destination for all athletes and anyone who wants to organize a successful and distinctive tournament for Bahrain's high profile in organizing events as qualified national caterers. His Highness stated that the kingdom has been able to achieve success in the MMA sport and other sports thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, who directed His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to develop the youth and sports sector through the Government Action Plan and the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in implementing plans and programs for the two sectors. His Highness noted His Highness Sheikh Khalid's efforts in promoting the MMA sport not only in Bahrain but regionally and globally and encouraging young people to practice according to international regulations, which contributed to increasing the number of centers and schools that embrace various types of combat sports. Sheikh Nasser highlighted that the inauguration of the championship in Bahrain enhances the position of the kingdom and honors the efforts of Sheikh Khalid to develop the sport in Bahrain. His Highness noted that Bahrain is one of the most developed countries in many fields and is always trying to invest its strategic location to organize international sports competitions aimed at enhancing the role of Bahrain in this regard. His Highness Sheikh Nasser wished all the fighters success in the championship and for his part His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the Brave International Combat Week will be a remarkable opportunity for the launch of the MMA Games to develop their global level and guarantee their global promotion. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister as well as the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince which contributed to the sport's high global status. He added that His Highness Sheikh Nasser is among the main supporters of the sport's development evident from his patronage of the championship. His Highness Sheikh Khalid noted that the championship represents an opportunity for world fighters to meet competing to achieve world titles.
Khalifa Sports City Arena opened its doors for a week-long celebration of mixed martial arts, culture and festivities. The long-awaited Brave International Combat Week kick-started with an inspiring opening ceremony, marking the beginning of the IMAF WAMA Unified World Championships for Amateur Mixed Martial Arts 2018 and the Fight Week for Brave 18. The ceremony featured an exhibition bout between His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Mohammed Bouhazza, a proud Bahraini who pursued his dream to train martial arts overcoming the condition of Down syndrome. The championship will consist of two competitions, Brave 18, which will showcase global leaders and legends of the sport, and the fifth IMAF World Championships, which will include the Nation versus Nation tournaments, the Senior World Championships, and for the first time in the kingdom, the Junior World Championships. First of all, uh, this uh, sport is uh, growing very fast in the region and in Bahrain and in the world. Alhamdulillah, Bahrain, we are hosting uh, the world champion for the second year. Next year will be the third year, inshallah, and we'll continue on doing it. Uh, talking about Brave, which is a professional, uh, a professional fighting uh, other than the amateurs, uh, we are growing in two years, alhamdulillah. We are reaching very high level, very good fighters, uh, good standard. So, alhamdulillah, we'll never stop growing, inshallah. The championships will be amateur MMA's largest yet, with 287 registered senior athletes from 52 nations and 80 junior athletes from 33 nations, totaling to 367 MMA competitors preparing to go head-to-head. -head. For us it's a special occasion because uh, this is now, again, uh, one of the largest uh, MMA events that's taking place uh, uh, this week and uh, obviously we're looking forward to it. So. I suppose in a way, with the amount of uh, athletes uh, kind of more or less doubling from last year, with the national federations, with about 53 national federations, it's amazing to uh, have this event in Bahrain. This event today uh, wouldn't be happened without the huge support of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Uh, we consider him our, our godfather in creating and making this this happens to Bahrain. Uh, having the world championship, this, uh, the second, uh, the fifth version and the second one in Bahrain, uh, the world championship of MMA is, is an honor for us to put Bahrain in, in the world picture and to let everybody know that Bahrain is capable and we are able to host biggest events uh, anywhere can hold. It's one of the uh, biggest initiatives that's happened. Last year we saw the great uh, the event was exciting, it was a success event, but this time it's even more bigger because it's the largest MMA event in the whole of Asia. So it's a proud moment for Bahrain to ha host the biggest event in Asia here in Bahrain. But even more interesting is that it is a product and a brand of Bahrain created by His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. So it's an exciting time for the whole of Bahrain, a proud moment for the whole of Bahrain. But the, the biggest thing is it's not just for Bahrain, this event is for the rest of the world. The whole world is excited about what Bahrain is doing for mixed martial arts as a community. And and uh, we're excited to see what's going to be happening in the uh, coming week. It's going to be one of the most exciting week for the whole of mixed martial art. We are uh, top three country in the world. So if you want me to talk about progress, this is a progress. I am representing my team, uh, KHK uh, MMA Bahrain team. And I will fight in a winter weight. I'm really excited for this and I prepare really good. And uh, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, we, uh, he's an guys and everything for us. And um, Alhamdulillah, I'm ready. Our coaches, our team, we all team, we work together. The championship resembles a historic week for Bahrain and reflects the kingdom's efforts in supporting and hosting global sporting events, breaking all records in terms of size and participation. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, deputized the Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, to attend yesterday evening the graduation of the 13th batch of the Ahliya University. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali extended the greetings and congratulations of His Royal Highness to the graduates and their families, wishing them further success. He also praised the development and quality of education in the Kingdom of Bahrain due to the keenness and support provided by the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, who believes in the role of education in building the society and enhancing development pillars. His Highness also expressed his pride in the distinguished status achieved by the Kingdom regarding the global indicators of the quality of education and human development. He congratulated Al Ahliya University on the advanced certification at the level of universities in the Arab world, praising the keenness of the university to keep pace with the development and modernization in the education systems through its close partnership with major international universities. 
He also congratulated the graduates, hailing the love and diligence of the people of Bahrain in acquiring knowledge and the will to participate in the efforts of building and developing their kingdom. In addition to building their future, His Highness commended the efforts exerted by the founder and chairman of the Board of Trustees of Al-Ahliya University, Professor Abdullah Al-Hawaj, and the entire academic and administrative caters, wishing them further success and progress. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Naimi, expressed his thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for patronizing the graduation ceremony. He asserted that the generous patronage comes in line with His Royal Highness's support and keenness to develop the educational process in all its stages. Because of His Royal Highness's belief in the important role of education in the comprehensive development of the kingdom, Professor Al Hawaj addressed the gathering, expressing pride in the royal patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and affirming His Royal Highness's support to education in the kingdom. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali al-Naimi, held a meeting with senior officials of the Ministry on Measures to be taken to respond to emergencies in public and private schools, including heavy rainfall, in order to safeguard the safety of students and employees. During the meeting, the previous instructions addressed to governmental and private educational institutions regarding the need to adhere to security and safety measures in schools, including rainfall-related cases, were reiterated. 
The concerned authorities are working efficiently to address the weather instability in the Kingdom of Bahrain during these days. The National Disaster Management Committee holds regular meetings throughout this period in accordance with the directives of the Minister of Interior and Chairman of the Civil Defense Council and headed by the Chief of Public Security and in the presence of representatives of the concerned ministries and agencies, which aims to treat the consequences of rainfall and provide the required services and various governance of the Kingdom. The coordination on, of efforts and integration of performance among the various bodies concerned, headed by the Ministry of the Interior, the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, have contributed in dealing with rainwater, accumula rainwater accumulation in a number of the streets in the Kingdom in a record time. Candidates for the 2018 parliamentary and municipal election began opening their campaign headquarters in various governments in the kingdom where they displayed their electoral programs to voters and residents of their electoral constituency. In order to communicate with the voters and to familiarize them with closely with the views of each candidate, candidates must obtain a license from the concerned municipality provided submitting the approvals of the Civil Defense, General Directorate of Traffic and Licensing and Landlords if held on a private property. Property. It is prohibited to hold election festivals and gatherings within less than 200 meters from all directions of the premises of the supervisory committees and the balloting and counting committees.